Hi guys, Zaki here with another Commander Conquer Red Alert video. In this video, I'm playing a quick match on the map Orrift. I'm on the account, my Jack the Ripper account, which is the account I use for Twitch streaming, and also when I want to try tactics, which I don't usually do. In this match, you can see I'm moving to the middle to start with, so I can mine gems early on. Now, a couple of videos ago, someone asked me in the comments about hotkeys, so I will go through them at the end of the video. What, the reason you use hotkeys is so you can build a lot faster. You just have to click a key rather than moving your mouse to click on the icons. Of course, speed is one of the most important things in Command & Conquer. I mean, you've got tactics, you've got build orders, but speed, the faster you are, the faster you can get your tanks up, the faster you can attack the enemy, the more tanks you're going to have to do that with. So yes, um, hot key, using hotkeys and mastering hotkeys is quite important um, to improve your game, but it isn't the only thing. Construction complete. I don't know if there are any top players that still use uh, search, scroll and click, I don't know, but um, hotkeys have definitely helped me get a bit better. Also, with micromanaging with tanks, when you're in tank battles, using a Q key is very important as well, and I will go into that when we have the first a battle involving tanks. Right, you can see I'm building a war factory now. I'm going to build another war factory straight after as well. That's the thing about mining gems. You can build two war factories early on rather than building a second or refinery first. If you try building two war factories on an or only map, what tends to happen is you tend to run out of money, which is obviously not a good thing. Right, I'm going to go straight to large tanks because I can do that while I'm mining gems. Um, one or truck is enough to do that, but I am going to need to get other ore trucks out in a bit because those gems aren't going to last for that long. And you can see he's sending some infantry to try and scout my base. And he's got actually got an infantry pass through the middle, so he definitely knows I'm in the middle now. He probably knew anyway, I would think, because he would have possibly had a visual on that or truck, possibly. And yeah, that or infantry's got past it as well. Construction complete. Right, so I've got my two war factories, which means I'm going to have an increased building speed for heavy tanks, and um, which will be much needed in this case because I think he's going to be coming soon. He is. A Soviet, so he will be building. Well. Yes, sir. Very well. Yeah, we've got the whole of my base uncovered now, yes, sir. At yes, sir. which is really annoying. Very well. Unit ready. Building. Yeah, I'm just Very grouping well. my tanks up and my infantry up because I think he will attack soon, or I'll attack. Unit and you can ready. see I'm actually running out of building. funds, so yes, I'm going to need to build um, an ore refinery and another ore truck. Funds. Yeah, and I've miscalculated that slightly. I possibly should have built it slightly earlier because I am struggling for funds right now. And this is probably what you don't want. You don't want to have a period of time where you can't build anything because you don't have enough ore. So I've, I've miscalculated that a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep on building ore refineries. Uh, you can see I've got two gem, uh, gem loads there. So that's going to obviously boost my uh, ore substantially. And you can see my enemies coming. Now, I said earlier that when you're fighting with tanks and battles, you need to use a Q hotkey. Now, what the Q hotkey does is, as you, as you shoot a tank, you hold down Q and you keep it held down. And what that does for you is it means your tanks keep on attacking the same target without really needing to press the uh, attack button again. So I attack, I can hold down Q, and I just all I focus on is move my tanks around, and my tanks will continue to hit that target. You can use it for buildings as well. If you hit a building and you keep Q held down and move your tanks around, your tanks will just continually attack that building. And that's how people can, um, when you do like tank rushes, that's how they can just um, keep on moving around your building while still attacking it. They've, they've hold it down Q. And I'm just attacking uh, yeah, he's made a bit, bit of a mistake here, I think, because he, he doesn't actually have enough to destroy this uh, ore refinery. So that's a mistake by him, because he has lost a lot of tanks in doing that, and he has fallen a little bit behind. Now, he's attacking that ore refinery there. I'm not too worried about that one, to be honest, because I've got another ore refinery right next to it. And I've got my tesla coil down now, so that's going to help me quite a bit. You can see it's uh, really damaging his tanks. And it's, it's giving me the upper hand for the time being. 
So now he's got less tanks, he's pulling a little bit back, and I'm just keeping on building tanks. You can see my ore situation's improved now that I've got four raw trucks mining instead of just uh, that one at the start. Um, and it's looking, it's looking decent for me at the moment. And yeah, you can see he's, he's doing exactly the same thing. He's kept holding down Q as he attacks, and he's moving around. Uh, you can see now he's... Um, yeah, we've got equal numbers about at the moment. I maybe could have been a little bit more aggressive there uh, initially. But I think he's got a good economy. He's got at least two war factories, so he's uh, building tanks pretty quickly. I'm still in a good position at the moment. I just need to keep on moving around, keep on holding down Q, and that's what's going to serve me. Because he is a quite, quite a good at... I'll just make sure I have a set up the war factory. Because my ore's doing... Ah, it's not doing as well as I thought it was actually, and maybe that third war factory might, might be a little mistake. Of course, of course. Yeah, you can see he must be building, he is building tanks very quickly. Um, yeah, he's probably got the slight upper hand at the moment. Yeah, but I'd rather really have another Tesla coil just a bit further to the left. Uh, the reason I want a Tesla coil a bit further to the left is going for my, I think he's going for my ore trucks if I go away, so I'm going to need to be a bit, yeah, he's going for them anyway. Yeah, and he's destroying one of them, which obviously isn't, uh, isn't ideal for me. And um, really what you don't want to get is, you don't want to get a situation like this where you're fighting over the ore that you're mining, because... You tank, the tanks do destroy the ore around them when they fight, and I think that's what he's trying to do at the moment. He's trying to maybe destroy the ore, but I don't have enough tanks to push him back. That's the thing. I oh, hardly said uh, damaged my uh, my power plant a little bit, which is obviously bad, and um, because I need that power for my second, my next uh, Tesla coil. And I've got another power plant that'll give them, take away my power worries. Um, we've got that under that test of trail, only managed to destroy a couple of heavy tanks, but uh, yeah, he's definitely got the upper hand at the moment. And so I've got in range of my middle test of power, which is a good thing because it's um, I'm starting to get back into the fight. He's trying to destroy my power plants, which isn't really going to do much because I've got a lot of excess power anyway. I just built that heavy power, uh, that extra power plant, and um, I've got a Tesla coil down. So, uh, yeah, my power's okay. I guess if he destroyed it, right? He's got. You can see here he's brought his ore truck to the mi middle, and that means only one thing: he must have run out of ore. In, at his own base. Now I've just sold one of my war factories, having three war factories was probably a mistake, it didn't really help. If I built that Tesla coil earlier, it probably would have made things a lot easier. Right, so, yeah, if he's mining there, he must have run out of ore at the bottom. Um, so that's going to make it very difficult for him. And you can see his, tanks, his tank production has slowed, which I think means he's uh, struggling for ore right at the moment. And it depends if he has any ore at the top of his base as well, because there is another ore patch there. I'm obviously going to destroy that ore truck, because I don't want him uh, mining from that my ore. And it just shows you, it looked like he had it won there, but um, I just had to... Uh, I managed to hold on, and as soon as you run out of ore, the tables can turn very, very quickly. He's probably sold his construction yard just to get that last ditch effort, but uh, it'll be to no avail. Even if you just get into my base, I've still got a Tesla coil there, so it's going to be very, very difficult for him. And he just won't have the numbers to do it. You can see he's still got all trucks moving around. He's probably going to the yards at the far place that match, but yeah, it's over right now. So that's the game. Right, thanks for watching, and I'm going to go over to the what I do for hotkeys now. 
Right, to get to the key bindings, go on options and then click on bindings and you'll see all your hotkeys there. You can change them to whatever you want by clicking on the hotkey and then typing in whatever key you want to change it to. The first one, structures, infantry and vehicles, which are located next to each other on the keyboard. They're quite useful if you want to switch from producing, um, producing structures to the vehicles tab or to the infantry tab. We've got the X scatter key that I've just hovering over there. That's so you can scatter infantry. If your infantry are attacking a tanks or an ore truck, it stops them getting squashed. And then lower down, we have the select units in view or across the map. I've changed the across the map one to just A instead of shift A. That's so I can just have to click a single key because I use that quite a lot. It's a lot easier just to click a single key than clicking two keys at once. It used to be shift A. Now, if we go a bit further down, you'll see the queued movement um, key, which is Q. That's the one I was using earlier with the tanks. And if you hold down Q when you attack with the tanks, they'll keep on attacking that target without having to re reassign the command. And what that means is you can spend more time moving your tanks around and reducing the damage they take. And you can use it when your tanks attack buildings also. A lot of people use it when they send light tanks to attack the construction yards and below it we've got the backward slash key which is used to deploy the MCB. If we go down a bit further we get the control groups. If you want you can assign a group of tanks or a group of any units to a control group and you just have to select a single key to select that group that you've assigned. Now these are, these ones I need to use a lot more it's a bookmark loca location keys if you bookmark a location, you can select a single key to flick onto that location. That's very useful if you've got a visual on your open opponent's base. You might want to flick between your own base and your opponent's base to see what they're doing quickly. I need to, use, as I say, I need to use that a lot more than I currently do. And also, you can bookmark different locations on the map just to see what's going on. And below that, we've got the structures tabs. Now, the hotkeys for these, what they're used for is you can click the hotkey in order to start building something and once it's built you can click the hotkey again to make it come up on the screen to for placement and you can what you can do is you can click you can change these keys to whatever you want i've changed the ore refinery and your silo key to v and b and the reason i've done that is so all my hotkeys that i use regularly are located close together because it's a lot easier to switch between keys that are close together and a lot quicker than if they're located a long way away. That's why I changed my refinery key from M to V because then it's located next to my hotkeys for fa war factories, power plants and barracks. And I'm just showing you I can change the ore silo that, there to you and I'm going to change it back to B because that's the one I usually use. And um, now there's no right way or wrong way to do this. You just choose, change your keys to whatever is easiest for you. I'm not saying it's better to have the OS or refinery on V and the OS silo on B. I just prefer it that way and that's why I've got it that way. Right, so I hope that was helpful. Um, thank you for watching.